Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in this morning for our leisurely stroll with Stormy, our silver fox here at Big Cat Habitat. Throughout this video on the walk, we're going to be giving you interesting fox facts. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and we'd be happy to answer them. Here we go. mature around 10 months old so this is as big as he's gonna get these are these boxes are the same as red boxes they're just a different color um, they're still bulbous bulbous which is the species name um, they just come in a variety of different colors they're all from the northern hemisphere um, so and they actually are the largest fox species i know compared to a dog they seem quite small but they are the largest fox species out there Stormy is smaller than our other fox, Nico. They're brothers, but they um, they really don't get much bigger than him. He's pretty big for the foxes of the world, I guess. We pretty much just let him do his own thing. I give him a, a really long lead, just let him go ahead and you know see the whole world out there. We, we have a gated-in fence throughout our. Um, habitat and he just stays within the fence. There's some there's a few acres that he gets to just go and roam in. Um, there's just some some things I don't let him do, but most most of the time I just kind of let him do whatever he wants. Um, this just gives them a great enrichment. Just a really fun day for them. They really enjoy these walks. Um, silver foxes come in a variety of colors. Like I said, their pelts can come in this silvery color, a black color, just they call that a cross. Um, it could be red and it could be black and red and silver and white. And then they could be mixed with all those colors in one. Uh, our Miko and Swarmy are two foxes. They are both male foxes. We don't have any females. Um, he's chasing a dragonfly right now and he's having a great time with that. Oh, what happened? Okay, we're gonna run this way. Oh. <laughs> I kind of just try to run with him so he, he has plenty of room and so it's kind of like he's not really even on the leaf. The leash is just mainly because the, the fences are pretty thick, so they can't quite get, they could quite, he could probably fit through them, and um, we wouldn't want him to get loose off the property, so it just, this just keeps it so it's a safe situation for everybody. He's very curious. All of these smells all over the place are very enriching for him. He just likes to search, see what's going on and surroundings. canid family but they are very cat like they have um, pupils just like a cat has pupils the the kind of crescent shaped and um, they're very high jumpers like cats 
Made some really good for to get spray. This is just so fun for them, you know. This is all these different smells. It's just so much better to do this with all with the animals because they get they just have that outside time, so they're just not um, just sitting there. They that way they have more of a variety of things that they can be doing. Okay, we just had a question come in, and the question is: My girls would like to know how you put him on the leash without getting bit. So they don't actually. Um, they don't, they're very, these guys actually came to us very friendly. He's digging in a planet right now, but, um, he doesn't bite, but we do all awkward condition training with our animals, which means, um, we start with clicker training them and it's his choice to go on the leash. He actually comes to me and lets me put the leash on it. It take, it took me a while to get him to that spot and I had some help. Um, with a with another trainer, but he actually knows what the leash means. He will let me put it on him, no problem, and he's excited to go out. He, but it took some training to get him to that point. Um, but he's he does a very good job with it. Um, his brother Miko is still in training. That's why um, we don't have two people walking him out here today. He's still he's not very easy about the leash yet. He's still worried about it. Um, Stormy picked it up extremely quickly. So Miki, Miko is um, at the stage where we could get the collar on him, but he doesn't know about the leash yet. So um, it just takes it just takes time, and and we use a lot of positive reinforcement, so they they know that that leash is a, and that collar is a good thing. And when we reopen, we actually do encounters with our two silver fox brothers. Um, so if you're interested in information on that. Um, you can definitely come and have some educational interaction with these two boys. And they don't bite, you know, they're very good guys. They, they both of them actually, they, when I go into their enclosures in the morning, they both jump on me and kiss me right on my face. So they're super friendly guys. And um, so that's, they don't bite. the ducks in the neighbor's yard. Very curious about the ducks. We have this pond over here and he does usually like to go and get a drink down in the pond. And there's a lot of construction going on around us too. We're, do we're doing some upgrades in the park and, and he's just coping with it so, um, so well. These guys sleep so easily, and just the fact that you know there's all this noise around him, and he's just worried about his his surroundings and having a good day today. He's not worried about all this the noises and stuff, and that takes a lot of time to get over that, especially for a fox. We have another question coming in today, and the question is, how did you choose their names? They actually came to us with names, so we didn't choose them. So um, Stormy and Nico, they were. They just came to us and they already had those names, so we just kept them because they already kind of knew what their names were. And they both they both know their names. They will come when they're called. They're, they're very smart animals. For anyone who's just tuning in now, we're here in Sarasota, Florida at Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary. And we're joining Stormy, our silver fox, on a walk that he likes to take. Um, it's very enriching and he enjoys it. As you can see, he's a very curious little guy. This is something that we do on a regular basis um, and it's very enriching for both of our foxes. Miko and Stormy, and we're on live right now with Stormy.
bags are really, they really like toys. They are so playful. Um, they just want to play with you right when they get in, right when you get into their enclosure in the morning. So we, they actually chew the toys up pretty well, but we put new stuff in their enclosure. I try to do it um, a couple times a week for them. And it just the switch out is really fun for them as well. Um, he just saw a fish jump, so he's wondering where it went. What do you see, buddy? Thank you, Peggy. We also think that he is so beautiful. All the animals here, they just have a special place in our heart and we're just really excited during this difficult time to just show you all of them and so you can see how well all the animals are doing here even though we're not open at the moment. Um, and if you keep tuning into our Facebook page, we are gonna be doing live video posts with lots of different animals um, throughout this difficult time so we can kind of put a smile on everyone's faces and um, just see see all these cool creatures. So he just got a little bit startled. But he's okay, he's just walking over here back where he feels comfortable. Foxes are naturally a little bit shy. I just make sure that he he calms down and he he copes with everything then um then he'll want to continue to come back out here so just want to make sure that nothing is too spooky for him and if he does get spooked um that we handle it really well for him and he's right back to his curious self looking for new things to smell Kara, we're so glad to hear your daughter loves foxes as much as we do, and we can't wait to have you out here when we reopen.